One of the ways that FDR changed the government was expanding the role the government had in managing the economy. And he did this in several ways. He did this with the Banking Act, with the Emergency Banking Act, which set up standards, regulatory standards, practices for banks that banks had to meet in order to be federally insured. Let's look at the National Labor Relations Act or the Wagner Act. This said for the first time in our history, the first time that it was legal for a worker to join a trade union. Then let's look at Social Security. The government began to set up a retirement system for the American public. What FDR hoped would happen would be a three-pronged stool of Social Security payments, corporate retirements, or you know, company pensions, and individual savings. The other thing that FDR did was with the income tax, with the graduated income tax, have it taken out of your paycheck rather than having you have to write the check at the end of the year. So they really helped set a way to manage the cash flow of the federal government. He also put the federal government, in some cases, in direct competition with private industry to spur private investment. So we have the federal government involved in almost every aspect of the American economy, from regulating the stock market and setting rules for how much you had to have in the bank to buy stocks on margin, what standards banks had to meet to be healthy, how you insure deposits in the bank, how you address issues of overproduction and underconsumption in the farm economy, how do you deal with the volatility of a skilled and unskilled labor force, how do you deal with labor conflict, organized labor conflict between labor and management? How do you deal with uh, reforming the income tax system? And how do you deal with the federal government controlling the way that monies are spent in the states? So in many ways, what the New Deal did was establish the tax policy, the wage policy, the farm policy, the banking policy, the utility policy that govern modern America. I mean, you'd never have the Great Society. You'd never have public housing. You'd never have the National Endowment for the Humanities. You'd never have federal aid to education. You'd never have Medicaid and Medicare and Social Security indexed to the cost of living if you didn't have the New Deal. Because the New Deal is the bedrock, it's the platform upon which all modern government policies are based. Because the bottom line for this is that the New Deal said that the government had a role to play in propping up capitalism in a way that benefited the broadest number of Americans.